here's one of them bandit dens again. Walker, listen. We're still gonna meet Mayor Lusum, right?
reading. Let's see if we can't get a hold of Mayor Lusum Hagar. You! You're not That's some choice. There's more to police in this place than just keeping roughnecks in check. Nobody gets in here looking like some wasteland slum scum. We got standards at Wellspring. Feel me? Grandma! Oh, hey! <laughs> It's another ranger. <laughs> Say, you people, uh, you still uh, help others out like you used to. <laughs> you know, like back in the ranger heyday. I've heard all the stories. <laughs> See, my grandma used to be a ranger, but she's old. I worry about her. She lives out there by the racetrack alone, tinkering with her inventions and just being plain old strange. I keep telling her to move in with me, but nope, oh no, she won't have it. If you rangers uh, still uh, help, would you mind telling her to come live with me here in Wellspring? Another ranger? Uh, maybe I could, if I'm headed that way. Thanks a bunch. I can't believe there are still rangers around that do that. Next up to report a hey, I'll walk in. Whoop de dock. Another wasteland yoko lost in the big city. What can Sheriff Mako Kuru do for you? I'm a ranger, here to help. Anything going on, Sheriff? Muties. Goddamn muties, as usual. I sent a trigger team down the old tunnels to root him out. They've only managed to rope him in. They lack the killing power to finish him off. Something's got to be done, and soon. Or we'll have muties up top in no time. I'm not planning on waiting in that shit like Gun Barrel. Box to the east. One of just a handful of survivors. We were negotiating to join the trade coalition when a force of goon squad came at us out of nowhere. It trampled all over our defenses. I'm sure they're still there now, tearing up the place. I lost my home and people in a similar way. How can I help? Mayor Lusum says she can't do a goddamn thing about it. But if you can, you can grab whatever's still left of value. We even got an ark. Not that anyone can open the damn thing, just Get rid of those goons. I want vengeance for my people. Wait, your th You want a snack? There's some salty gigator rinds, some pickled sonchat eyeballs. <laughs> we got lychee slices. I do good with horseradish on the side, extra mellow. 
<laughs> and swill. Always swill. Maybe later. Not here to relax. Hey, can I get something off my chest? About my old friend Ned? Just nobody listens to me talk about Ned. And I want to talk about him now. You see, Ned, Ned was the kind of guy that had to do things the opposite of everyone else. He built this whack outpost that perched on top of a bridgehead. It was practically hanging out over the great crack. And then Ned slipped in some slime vogel scat and fell way down the crack. Caved his skull in. I hear the goons live there now. So uncool. I mean, my old friend Ned would really hate it that those goddamn psycho mohawks live in his bridge house. Curious? Hello, friend! I am so excited to see you! I'm Flora, and my business is to know everything about everyone. So you deal in information? About everything that goes on in the great city of Wellspring and beyond. All the fashion, gossip, and exciting opportunities. Satisfaction guaranteed. New prospect! You! Turn the fuck around! Don't tell me you rock the same threads as me! Oh, hell no! Sell your junk! Hey, a new player. <laughs> Fancy looking duds. A winner if I ever saw one. A buyer? Seller? Well, <laughs> we don't know yet, do we? Guess we'll find out, because both are equally welcome. It's a passion to tell you the truth. Buying junk. People are out there day and night digging these treasures out of the ground. I'm Jack. They call me Jack of the Trade. It's an engine, because I trade, see? <laughs> I live to trade, and I trade to live. So, will it be? Good trade means everyone walks away. You are getting on my nerves now. You really are. Not a fact. I am not going to Run, run, bring me back to the Enough. Lock, loaded, and reloaded. Yeah, hello. Yeah, what'll it be? I guess you want to feed that siren of yours. You want some crackers, some murder's pellets? Yeah, right, you come to the right place. Pew, pew, pew. Zing. Buy some ammo. Come back alive. Death healing done. <laughs> Sentient life form approaches. Entering. Come here! Mode. You there! Yes, you. Filthy. Gun hand for hire. I have paid your master more than enough. I refuse to be treated like this. Lady, I'm not a merc. <gasps> Silence, mercenary scum! And listen instead. My digging crew has not responded in days. I suspect they are busy lining their pockets with my feltrat. Thieving scum. Go punish them, mercenary. Go kill them and maim them for their transgressions. You can keep the feltrat for your scummy troubles. Nobody betrays glisten success. Off you go. Shoo shoo! Because you're a degenerate gambler, that's why. And degenerate gamblers are only fucking around. Come in! Yeah, come! I'm adjusting the range on this, uh, this ocular implant. It's painstaking work. We're talking nanometers in any direction, and it makes the biggest difference to the wearer. Uh, you are a second-generation archist. That much is plain to see. Oh, you have endless potential. Uh, most folks just come here to get a, a limb replacement or a cool ocular. But you, you could become so, so much more. What are you talking about? 
I can make you hardier and more attuned to your arc tech. There are several modifications that are compatible with your nanotrites, but the mods require rare items, which you will have to contribute. Scan my mod menu for details. All right, if it's as powerful as you say. Indeed, the procedures are invasive, but your nanotrites will compensate. Let's get Keep your head about you out there. Listen, Chief. Don't make me go back there. You I passed by the old ruin on my way in. The one right on top of the great crack. There was something in there. It made the most awful noise. Screams of pain, you know? Holy shit coming out. What do you think is going on? Oh, I think it's haunted, it. yep. The spirits of the old world are coming back to suck the life out of the living. <laughs> I'm taking the long way around from now on. Yes, sir. Hey, you. Ranger Walker. I was told to keep my eyes peeled for you. I'm Wyatt Ferris. I handle... special operations for the mayor's office. I was wondering who handled Lusum's dirty work. I do my part in keeping the city safe. Right now, I'm focused on slowing the Immortal Shrouded's aggressive expansion in this area. I could use someone like you for a high-stakes assignment. The Shrouded have taken over an old factory nearby. Seems harmless enough. But somehow, they managed to get the old reactors in there up and running, and they're using them to fuel further raids. They'll strike again soon. I can feel it in my bones. A demo team couldn't take out those reactors fast enough, but you already have the necessary tools to get it done. Can you help? Stop right- I'm looking for the mayor of Wellspring. Now you're in the right place, but at the wrong time. Mayor Hagar and her staff are in lockdown. Whatever your business, you can wait. Try another day, or don't try at all. Why, has something happened? Nope, and I aim to keep it that way. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. But the mayor has bigger problems than you, Sideshow. Now, as I said... Hear that? Get up there. 
impressive. You think it can catch a bullet, too? Lusum Hagar, mayor of Wellspring. Used to be a wingstick whiz kid. Nowadays, backs it up with a pistol. Instrumental to the Dagger Project. Whoa, 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 whoa! Easy. I'm here about the Dagger Project. Huh. Just a very exclusive list knows about that project. And you're not on it. Prowley sent me. Prowley, huh? Prowley's dead. Vineland was razed to the ground. She's a hologram. I can't explain. I'm Walker, the last of the Vineland Rangers. God damn it. More of these assholes! Ranger, let's take these fuckers out! Then we'll talk! What's the situation down there? Same. They gunned down your people, I gunned down them. Maybe you will prove useful to me after all. You're pretty damn skilled, stranger. I'm just getting warmed up, ma'am. Hear that? They're coming up the elevator. Get ready! Steady now. Once the door opens, they're walking into a fucking cliff. Like fish in a barrel. Got the skill for the kill, I grant you. <laughs> These goons are thoroughly dead. Not what I expected from your boxed-in little compound. <laughs> You're different. You ready to talk now? Yeah. Let's talk. You want to tell me what's going on here? Dagger was designed to stop the Authority once and for all. Plans fell by the wayside when Vineland cut ties with us. I'm more than willing to reboot the project. But as you can see, I have more pressing matters. I can see that. Who are these guys? Tired thugs. The Goon Squad. Small-time bandit outfit. Who sent them? Only one scumbag with balls enough to pull a stunt like this. Clegg Clayton. Richest asshole in town. He's been eyeing the mayor's seat for a while. But lately, he's been upping his game. Using bribed officials, he's laid claim to all of the city's military hardware including the vital parts needed for Dagger. So I kill him and take back the hardware? No deal. We gotta proceed with some caution here. First, I wanna know where he gets his backing from. Second, we need to find out where he keeps all of that property. You got a plan? He's got an ego the size of an ecopod, but we can use that. If you get close to him, pay him lip service, get his trust. Then you can easily plant this gizmo on his computer. It'll let me download all of his juicy data. Who's backing him, who's supplying the goon squad, and where he keeps the seized supplies. Clegg Clayton likes to surround himself with the rich and famous. They hang out at his so-called winner's lounge. You figure out a way to get in there, and you're well on your way to getting that gizmo planted. Okay, I'm on it. Excellent. Grab the gizmo, get into Clegg's office, and stick it on his computer.
long-range scouts have been observing the Immortal Shrouded establish themselves in the Scraplands. Stands to wonder how they plan to deal with the mutant crusher out there, Sackhead the Painbringer. He's infamous for attacking and killing anything that comes even near his hiding hole. Ranger. I almost feel sorry. I have something you might want to hear. Almost. Redcap's the name. You know, back in the war, I used to supply a resistance base near Scraplands. It was built into the canyon walls and always had some great old technology. I was thinking about all that stuff not long ago and decided to go get it, but the place was full of nasty goons. If someone was to go there and root out the bastards, well, that someone would end up the wealthy owner of all the old world stuff still there. Old tech, huh? Might be worth my time. This is Clay Clayton's winner's lock. Forget it. You ain't got the juice to get past the rope. Let me in. I'm a ranger. I don't give a fuck. No one gets in here who isn't rich or famous. You're neither. Come on, there's gotta be a way. Sure. You can get in by winning. Winning how? Win at Mutant Bash TV and win the Chaz Car Derby. Become a champ. Easy peasy for someone as tough as you, right? That all? Yep. You make yourself a champ, you can just waltz on in and meet the man himself. There's no other way? Not for you. Any luck? You get past that Boundzilla at the door? There's a way in. I've gotta go kill the shit out of some muties on TV and grind some metal in the racing circuit. Become a champ. Should be a breeze. Uh... Oh, let's... Hope you've got what it takes. Those shows eat up folks like gobbling down peanuts. Full service in place. Oh, uh, never mind.
My research is close to completion, but I am lacking one vital component. Please come see me in my lab. On my way, Doc. Another bandit pit stop.
Another signal from a ranger suit up ahead. Here's one of them bandit dens again. 